Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome back to Union Cross. I'm so mad right now. I'm not even mad, I'm just upset at myself for doing this. So, two days ago, I posted a video showing the spotlight of this medal, and I missed a guilting campaign by two days. Two days! All I had to do was wait two days, and be like, ah, I don't need to make this video yet. But sadly, I got this medal guilted at 76%, and then when we got the update today, I was like, that was a pretty big update, what's going on? So I went to go fuse my metals together, and what do you know? You don't have to fuse anything together, right there. Metal fusion experience times two, what does that mean? Guilting campaign. I immediately tweeted out with a picture of my Mickey and Minnie saying, are you serious right now? Are you serious? I lost so much mirrors just because I was impatient by two days. But like I told you guys again, um, I enjoy making videos for you guys, showing you the medals that a lot of people don't get, if I'm able to get it, or just show you exactly what's good and not good, but two, just two days, two days Cena, you couldn't just like do it on a Monday or something, like the beginning of the week, uh, so yeah, that's part of one of the hidden updates, there's actually a couple hidden updates, we got the th three obvious ones, which is dress up for the night ball, which is pretty cool guys, I actually like these avatars, especially the female, I, I want to change my uh, avatar to a female now, just because of like how good the avatars are looking and also she got this necklace or a neck piece with the skill perk plus six that is sweet that is so good uh and then prince charming got a cape we get to wear princess charming's cape for plus three which we got balloons and uh genie balloon and the wings so we already have a skill perk plus three back there but pretty cool um the avatar itself actually the board comes with an attack boost four and attack price plus which is really good no matter what situation you're in and even later on there's going to be like there's going to be reasons for you to need attack prize plus especially when you can't fit like your kingdom hearts Kyrie 2 on a certain slot and the medals after that cost six and then you got to come back all around and you start losing sp it's really good to have your attack medals with an attack boost four with app on it or, like you guys saw me do, I used Ma Maui and Moana with Attack Boost 2 and APP because they did really good. They were support medals, so they had some damage with their buffs, and then they brought me some uh, SP back because they were AoE. So they hit all the enemies, got me a ton of SP, and they helped me out through a lot. So if you guys don't have Kingdom Hearts 2 Kairi, or you should be planning for the future of the game, stock up on a bunch of Attack Boost 4s and Attack Prize Pluses. Those are going to help greatly on AoE support medals and also your main damage dealer if you don't care about Attack Boost 4, Max, and so on like that. So I do recommend those on support medals that are AoE, but there's also a lot of other stuff you can do. So you just got to mix and match your medals to see what you really need. Now, it also comes with a generic Attack Boost 4. Like I said in my last video that I put on the... Mickey and Minnie Mouse, I put Attack Boost 4 on it because it was going to become common and eventually it's going to be like our Attack Boost 3 and Attack Boost uh, 2. It's going to be the norm. It's going to be everywhere. It's going to be in Coliseum boards. We're going to see Attack Boost 4 very here and there. And Defense Boost 3. If you guys don't know, there's a strategy with Defense Boost 3 for high score challenges. To survive multiple turns, you have to wear like all your Keyblade medals with Defense Boost on them. And Defense Boost 3 is actually really good in certain situations. Not everything. You can get away with Defense Boost 1 and 2 in a lot of situations. And we proved that on the Xemnas B event when I used Defense Boost 1 to beat all the raid bosses all the way until the gummy ship. So even Defense Boost 1 is really, really good. But Defense Boost 3 is needed during certain enemies at high, high levels. Especially later on we'll see what the game comes out but you can never go wrong with defense boost 3. now what else do we got here we got what i am really happy about guys magic mirrors times four for each board so if we buy both boards which is 5,000 jewels it's kind of heavy but it does come with a lot of good stuff and also that means i get eight mirrors back for my mickey and minnie mouse which Again, I was kicking myself about it, but it's just a game and my mirrors were just sitting there anyway. So what are you going to use the mirrors for? For bad guilt. So that's the whole point of mirrors. So I'm not too sour about it. But then again, I could have had a better, I could have been at 100% and then used 30 mirrors and I was good. So I wasted 24 mirrors on that, which is totally fine. But that board gives us eight of mirrors if we buy both of them, which is really good altogether. Two defense boost threes, two attack boost fours with attack prize pluses. There's plenty of reasons for the attack prize plus. And then we just got a power gem. Now, I believe the Mickey and Minnie Mouse was a power gem as well as one of the prizes. Or something was the last week, like uh, from doing the Raid Lux ranking or something like that. 
something was power generated. There's Thornell power generated because our next Keyblade, which is spoilers, but our next Keyblade should be the Fenrir once we get more Proud Quest. Uh, once we get more Proud Quest, we should be able to lock out the uh, Fenrir, which is actually one of my favorite Keyblades that I want to get besides another one later on for upright, not upright, for reverse speed. I'm looking forward to that one as well. But this is the next one I'm looking forward to because I do have a lot of upright power. And we can see our avatar boards have power gems. I'm pretty sure that one of the raid weeks have power gems. And also, there our daily quest, which is not a daily more, which I really, really like, also had a power gem in it. Uh, on my free-to-play account, if you guys are wondering which strategy I use in my free-to-play account, I use two times three buffers, uh, Bell, Maui, and uh, two Zigbars. So my own Zigbar and a friend Zigbar, and I got all, all of it completed on my free-to-play account. On this account, obviously, I have really good medals, so it was no problem. But there was a power gem in this one as well. So they're kind of leading towards the Fenrir with all these power gems coming up. And I really, really, really like that Keyblade. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, so that's one of the notices. The other mo notice is this really, really bad deal here. I, they can make this so much better and make so much more money. But I don't understand the amount that they give us here does not encourage people to actually buy this who don't buy it. Like people who don't buy jewels look at this and go like, eh. You know what I mean? I didn't spend it before. I'm not going to spend it now for an extra 1,300 jewels, which is not even enough for one pull. So I really don't like this. You guys know if you've been watching me all this time, I don't like how little of a reward for buying their jewels is. Again, it's all digital product. It doesn't take them any material to actually make it. So why not just dish it out and give a little bonus to show people you care? But who cares about that? At least it's a bonus. And then we got the best banner ever. This banner is amazing because, let me tell you why, why it's so amazing. We get to save our jewels. We do not have to spend our jewels because this is absolutely pointless. And I know you guys already know this, but I just want to express my feelings towards this. Tier 2 medals for Nova Deal, which gets me on this. I read this last night. Let's go to the bottom of this and let's read it. If you've been slacking on raising your Nova level, use this chance to power up your Nova and deal bigger damage. If you've been slacking, the, um, Cena, I don't know if you know this, but you don't give us enough, enough jewels to actually pull to raise our Nova. And you've been lacking on the free event medals, so we're not slacking. I think you're the one that's slacking. That right there was like, are you serious? Did you just say that? You just said we're slacking? We don't have enough resources to actually increase our Nova, and you're telling us we're slacking? And, and on top of that, the deal is 2,000 jewels. Guys... If you're going to spend 2,000 jewels, spend 100 less, pull for this banner right here for 1,900 jewels, even though you can't get nominate, it's 1,900 jewels, you get some tier 4s, some tier 5s maybe, and a bunch of tier 2s. Look at this. Look, just look. Ah, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. But, um, terrible example, but here we go. There's a tier 2 right there. There's literally two tier twos. Are you serious? Are you no three tier twos? Three, yeah, three tier twos, four tier twos. We got four. One, two, three, four tier twos, which is like polling for two thousand. But you get a bunch of tier twos with three dots. There's no point when you can grab medals like this that actually help your game. I really just wanted to try this. I was saying last night I'm just gonna take a picture and put it up on a. Uh, Twitter because last night I was with my family I was stayed I stayed the night over there so that's why I didn't release a video earlier but there you go for 1900 jewels I got a medal that's actually gonna help me and not my Nova because Nova guys is whatever Nova will increase as you go and like I said for these kind of deals 1900 you get a really good tier 4 or 5 in my case I got a tier 5 and you'll get a bunch of tier 2s with it so don't worry about that Nova deal man I hate this game <laughs> I actually really enjoy this game. I'm not gonna lie. Even though it's got some shitty banners, the banner is secretly good if you're just pulling a bunch of medals. Because you can increase your Nova with this 1900 one, where this 2000 one, it's whatever, guys. I honestly, I wouldn't do it. Just keep pulling for a nominee banner and you get lucky. You get tier 5s, tier 4s, and if you're super lucky, you'll get a nominee or a Roxas. I tried. I tried the whole YouTube luck. It doesn't work, guys. It's a myth. YouTubers do not get better luck because they make videos. And you've seen how much jewels I spent. Now, I haven't bought the VIP pack as you guys see here. I'm waiting till the last day just to see what's going on Friday, which is tomorrow. So we'll see what's happening with that. Um, so that's the banner. Honestly, 
it's great. It lets me save jewels or pull more for nominee. And most likely I'll keep pulling, pulling for nominee because it's a medal I actually really want. And by the time another medal that I want comes out, I'll have plenty of time to save up. So my goal is to grab that nominee and I'm gonna try my hardest to do it. Uh, once I buy the VIP pack this week and next week, I'll be able to pull a bunch of other times as well. And I also have 3,700 jewels, so I can do two more pulls once I do other stuff. Um, jewels, I'm not going to buy. I'm never going to buy like that. If you guys are going to buy jewels, just buy the VIP pack and slowly increase your, your collection of jewels. So we got that. Um, while we're in this right here, I'm at max storage, which is 900. Now we can increase our storage to 1,200 if you guys didn't know about it, and it's half price. So we got half price, sto half price storage up to 1200 which I might need because I'm already pretty close to max because of all those pulls I did for nominee. So I'm at 836 but like I said, guilty campaign, so I have a bunch of medals I'm gonna be putting together. As you guys can see, this is from pulling for nominee. I got tier twos, look at all the tier twos guys. I got tier twos like no tomorrow and I got a bunch of all medals. Let me just put that on to attack. So pulling for nominee, you guys can see all my loose tier twos I have and a bunch of tier threes and then you saw the tier fives I got. So there's no point to pulling for 2,000 jewels for that, just pull for nominee. And if you're lucky, you get some really good medals. But you guys can see I have a ton of stuff to do. I'm going to make it another video, I'm going to put it into three parts. I'm most likely going to do a speed, magic and power guilting video and traits. And try to keep it separate because if I did this all at once, you guys can see here, it's going to take quite a while. So hidden. Notice that they didn't talk about was uh, guilting campaign, half price, storage increase, and the storage increased max up to 1200. Also, because I actually completed everything on this account, there's another update they didn't talk about, which is right here. The Proud Plus quest, uh, this is not the Proud mode, this is Proud Plus. We increased up to 450. I don't know if there's more after this, but I have completed all of them, three make a hit on this account. It was really easy using like World Final Fantasy and KDG because they're super effective. So I use Olympia on every single one. And now we have more, which I'm really excited to get into because now I can use my Mickey Minnie Mouse to use this lower uh, general defense. The higher the level of enemy, the more general defense down you want. And the trait negative 60%, which is really good. So I believe, yes, I use this Keyblade setup right here to do all three of these Proud Plus quests. Uh, my Bell and Beast has plus six strength because it has double cast so I'm pretty set on this account that's why I'm not worrying about spending all my jewels on that nominee banner because my account is at a really 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 good point right now and I'm, I'm pretty much set I just want medals that I really like or I think are game changers and nominee is a game changer it's just behind a really bad banner so that's it guys that's the whole update um nothing much really to say from this point half price storage uh increase to 1200 we got the Guilty Campaign, which I'm so sad and so excited for. It's just that I should have waited one or two more days and I would have been golden. But everything else is good. We got Story Mode, which I probably didn't talk about because it's 50 more Story Quest. I'm not going to click on my Story Quest because you guys might be new and I don't want to put any spoilers like that. But it was up to Quest 600. Now we're going to 615. And if you guys don't know already, after 5 quests, we get 250 jewels. So we're looking at 750 jewels from this. If you haven't done multiplayer yet, that's another 800. If you haven't done your daily, that's another 1400. There's jewels, guys. There's jewels everywhere. Do what you gotta do and don't forget to stock up on SIDS. So that's it for this update. Next video I'm coming out with is most likely gonna be me guilting some medals. Um, and then whatever else is happening. Uh, tonight's gonna be a tweet. We'll see about that. And that's it, guys. That's it. Besides me losing my uh, good guilt on my mini and Mickey Mouse, Everything else is great, guys. Um, this kind of banner is good for people who spend money in the game. If you really need to get those tier twos and get your Nova during a guilty campaign, now's the best chance because of those three ores. But for everybody else who's free to play or cheap to play, especially cheap to play, I wouldn't recommend it. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.